Hey y'all, it's Saturday. Last night I dedicated my day today to cleaning out an area under our bedroom windows that is utterly shameful and embarrassing. So I wanted to start out this video by showing y'all something kind of pretty first because I mean, y'all are just gonna be like, wow, when you see it. We've had a remodel going on in the kitchen and so there's just been a lot of hectic stuff going on lately here and I haven't gotten out and done a whole lot about the weeds. The weeds are bad, but I did get out here and uh, in this bed and weed a little bit the other day. Y'all, the super tunias, I mean, wow. This is the first time I've ever planted a border of super tunias and they are awesome, just awesome. The limelights are putting on some real good blooms and I think they're gonna do exactly what I hoped they would, which is grow together, but these two over here on this side are a little bit smaller, so it's gonna take them some time, maybe a couple of years before they reach their mature height and become that hedge that I want to see. But yeah, there's some pretty stuff going on here, but I mean, there is just one area in the yard right now that is utterly shameful. So let's go take a look. Okay, y'all, get ready. Here it is. My shameful secret. This is an example of just utter neglect. There is no excuse for it. I will say we have been doing an interior remodel that has had a lot of my attention. But you know what? I'm just not proud of this, y'all. So I took out a holly hedge, as you know, if you've been watching the channel, there was a hedge that extended all the way across this back half of the house underneath all the windows. So I took out that hedge and I've just been waiting and thinking uh, about what I wanted to do in place of that holly hedge. And so I went and bought some limelight hydrangeas. These are the regular limelights. They get bigger than the little limes. They'll end up getting about six to eight feet tall and wide as opposed to the little limes, which really get about four to six feet tall and wide. So I was thinking about putting a little hedge of regular limes under these sunroom windows here and putting this Oakland Holly at the corner there. I think that would be a great look. Some structure against something wild. Once again, that's like my favorite thing to do. But before I can do that, I need to clean up this jungle that I call the garden. So I just thought y'all might wanna come along and see the transformation, hopefully, that there will be today. Okay, here we go. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, you need to know that I garden in Dothan, Alabama. That is in the southeast corner of the state. We're about 15 to 20 minutes north of the Florida line. It gets hot and humid. The humidity is just about as bad, if not worse, than the actual heat. So there are some things that southern gardeners know about that other gardeners just may not even have to deal with so here is here are three things that i think every southern gardener needs okay the first one is insect repellent because of the gnats okay then a snake stick because we have snakes all around this area and when i go into this jungle over here i'm gonna be Work in that grass with this stick to make sure there are no copperheads or um, moccasins or whatever in the world might be hiding in that grass. Also, you know, I like to use a fan on an extension cord because that helps with the snake, I mean the gnats, and it gives you a little bit of relief from the heat and humidity. And this year, I actually added one thing to my repertoire of 
lifesavers for the southern gardener in the summer and that is I went to the tractor supply place and bought this baby pool that when it is a hundred degrees outside which is supposed to be 103 next Wednesday and 104 next Thursday don't think I won't jump in that baby pool with all my clothes on after I garden out in that heat don't even think that I won't do it because I will I will do it <laughs> Tuesday morning it's about 8 45 it's taken me two days to get all the weeds out of the bed that had become so overgrown now it is about 8 45 in the morning right now and I am going to talk to y'all about the design that I've chosen for this bed and it came about sort of sporadically because yesterday I went to Home Depot just for soil and I ended up buying a Twilight Magic Crepe Myrtle and four adagio grasses which you can see behind me and i had previously purchased some limelight hydrangeas and so that's what i want to talk to y'all about today is how excited i am about this bed design i think it's going to be amazing it is full sun um, it gets probably about four to six hours of sun a day it's west facing on the back of my house and so anyway let me talk to y'all now about these plants so originally i had thought about putting limelight hydrangeas over underneath that window you see now where the grasses are but yesterday i was at home depot and these grasses caught my eye they are adagio grasses a-d-a-g-i-o also called miscanthus okay so they get about five feet tall and wide excuse me, five feet tall, three feet wide. They grow in an upright habit and they bloom with these white plumes on the top of the grass. And it's just, I think gonna be very pretty. So you've got the structure of the Oakland Holly, the wild of the grasses. That is one of my favorite design tips. And so then I lined the back wall here, which is, underneath our bedroom window and along this brick wall with regular limelight hydrangeas. These are gonna get bigger than the baby limes. These end up getting about six to eight feet tall and wide and they love the sun. So I also like the way that these look when you put them near these grasses. The broader leaf of the limelight hydrangea with that that uh, texture of that grass is beautiful. Now, I needed some height. This, this wall here, this brick wall on the back of my house is very tall and the holly hedge that had been planted here, it just didn't do anything to emphasize that height. And so what I've decided to go with is this crepe myrtle that I found yesterday at Home Depot. This is a Twilight Magic Crepe Myrtle. It is hardy down to zone seven. So seven through nine. Okay, so the bloom is more of like a bubblegum pink, which I'm super into right now. Also yesterday at Home Depot, this caught my eye. You know, I've said before that oftentimes knockout roses, they are put in to just sort of fill a space and they're left and they end up not being maintained and they get really leggy and they just don't always look great. But I'm just gonna give this one a try because in beds where knockout roses are taken care of, they can look really, really pretty. 
and I have two abelias. These are Miss Lemons. I'm not sure I'm going to use them in this bed, but I just put them here because I think I think it would be a great addition if I do decide to use them. So y'all, I'm really, really excited about this design. Uh, it's just really coming together and it was just one of those moments and I'm sure all of you have had these moments and they're so exciting like when you just get a burst of inspiration and you put something out in your garden and immediately you know it's right that does not always happen to me and I sometimes I can look at something and I'm just like no something's not right about that I don't know what it is well I'm looking at this right now and I mean I'm loving it and that is such a rewarding feeling. So much fun. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to take y'all along with me today while I plant this bed. It is hotter than Hades out here right now, but I have gotten in the grasses and the limelight hydrangeas today, which is actually a lot more than what I thought. I mean, because a lot of the time it takes me a really long time to plant things, but today it just went by real quick. So I was happy about that. And I'm gonna try to get the crepe myrtle in and the knockout rose in today. Um, and that's gonna be all that I do today. All right.
y'all. So I wanted to update y'all real quick on the developments that have happened over the last day or two here in this project on the back side of my house. So in case you're new to the channel, we just moved into this house nine months ago and I've been doing a big overhaul on the landscape. And so initially all that I planned on doing was just getting out here in this back bed and doing a whole bunch of weeding because the weeds had just really taken it over. But then when I went to Home Depot two days ago and I saw these grasses, that crepe myrtle and the knockout rose, it kind of became more of like a design project. And I'm actually really happy and excited about this. And yesterday I went back to Home Depot and I bought three more Adagio miscanthus grasses. And I thought it would be kind of cool to tie them in over here on this corner here of the house so that we would have three over here and four over here. I just kind of thought that would look cool. So I have that in mind. And yesterday I actually got out here where we used to have these two wooden raised beds and we had taken the raised beds out and they just got completely taken over with weeds. And so yesterday it was a long day of weeding and today I have a whole lot more weeding to do because as you can see, the blueberries are starting to grow back. Um, and then there's just a ton of weeds over here on this side of the house and it just looks terrible. So that's what I've got to do today. And let's see. Oh yeah, so the other thing I wanted to tell y'all is that I kind of have in mind to do a curved bed that will come along. Let's see, let me see if I can show y'all. Okay, so where the grass is right here, I had thought about pulling it out and then making a bed here, just a round bed that comes and meets this side of the bed over here. What you're looking at is the south facing side of the house. So this bed is in full sun all day. And this is the west side. And as you can see, the sun is getting overhead. It's about almost 11 o'clock now. So from about 11 o'clock until probably Four or 4 30 in the afternoon this bed gets full sun so anyway um, thanks for coming along with me as this process and project develop I hope y'all enjoy the next part of this video Okay, y'all, so this is it. I just finished putting down some sod here uh, that I took up from this lawn in order to make this curve. And I'm planning on going to the nursery and getting just a few pieces of sod so that I can refine the curve, but you can see the basic idea. So I'm just really happy with this and I feel like it just really suits the house. It gives me a lot more space to plant. So I wanna to talk to y'all real quick about the plants that I have added to this space. So I'm thinking I will plant my two blueberry bushes somewhere around here in this space. And I added three more grasses yesterday, adagio grasses three to five feet tall and wide, full sun. And then I'm thinking about some lemon lime abelia here in the curve to just sort of accent that curve. I think that some chartreuse would look really good. 
And then just today, I put in this Encore Azalea. I believe it's an autumn twist. So I'll put a picture up to show you what it'll be when it's mature. But really this bed is going to be white and pink. White with my limelights, pink with my rose, crepe myrtle, Encore Azaleas. And I also planted my little blue kazoo spirea. He had been in his little pot for several weeks and I managed to keep him alive, but I just put him in the ground today with this topiary around him so that my hose won't clobber him. And two more Encore Azaleas in front of this grass, which I think will be a really nice textural contrast. And then say a prayer for my little twist of lime abelia because this was over in the south side bed and it started looking really crispy so i thought i will put him here he's still gonna get a lot of sun but just not as much sun and once this crepe myrtle gets bigger he will get some shade which he can take a little bit of shade so this has been quite an involved project, but I am excited. And in the next video, or the next few videos, I'll be out here probably adding some plants. But you know, it's just kind of a process. Don't exactly know what I'll do yet. But anyway, all right. Thanks for joining me on this project of transforming my back garden bed, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and I need to come in and mulch, but it's just too hot to do that today. So anyway, I hope y'all have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one.